Welcome back. So we have the service now, we have the facade. Let's look at the drawing. All of this is done. The plumbing for all of this is actually done. And it's been kind of a pain because there's a lot to do, but we're doing it to make our software architecture better. We're doing it to make a stronger piece of software right here in the long run. So we'll spend some time up front to get our software in a good state right away. You'll make That'll make sense if you continue working on software. Also, this makes it easier for us if we need to start unit testing stuff. I'll try and show you some of the reasons why it makes it easier later on. Uh, but right now, let's try and actually implement this now in our actual UI component, right? So now we want to remove all the errors right here and make this work again. Because it hasn't worked for a long time. I want it back. So we're going to, in the UI, first of all, get an access point for the BLL layer. So let's go to the top of our program now to actually start implementing this madness and the first thing we need is an access point put to our actual facade that we just talked about a few times so i'll do this the easy way right now and i will again make it a lot cooler later on but now let's just get an access point so we'll just call it bll facade like this equals new bll facade bll facade there we go now again the same problem like we had before we need to actually go and use the customer app bll a layer or package or project to even uh, get this going. So now we have to be a little facade. And right now it's a var that's not allowed because we cannot use var in the root here. So I'll just write be a little facade uh, and I'll actually even make it static right away because I want to use it all over my program. So again, the simple solution, but this is now the access point for our actual, um, if we want to communicate with the services down here, this is now the access point. So using the BLL facade, we're going to start to do all the things that we couldn't do before. So first of all, here it seems we want to add a customer. Well, we're not allowed to use ID here because that's not how we add customers, but we want to actually say blfacade.customerservice.create, right? So this is how we create a new customer. And notice it's not adding anymore, it's creating, so we're not allowed to add the ID ourselves, right? There we go, now that one is added. And then we can go down here and do the same once more. We just want to add a new customer here, and this time I'm kind of doing the same thing. So be a little facade. Notice I'm just removing responsibility here, right? I'm saying you should not know how to create a customer. You should not know things like he needs an ID. That's not your problem. You should just know that this is the guy I want to create. He should have the first name, the last name, and the address. There we go. But the facade will figure out how you'll actually create him. He'll figure out there might be some validation he needs to trigger. There might be some crazy stuff he needs to figure out for you to actually create a customer. You don't have to know about that. You just have to know the basic information I need is the first name, the last name, and the address. The rest will be handled for you by the facade and the customer service. Let's scroll down and see what else we have down here that doesn't belong in the UI. And again, it's very easy because every time I see a red spot, that's probably something that shouldn't be handled by the UI. Like here, what are we doing? We're finding a customer by the ID. Okay, so let's not do this anymore. Let's just remove all, all of this because the responsibility of finding a customer, you guessed it, has been removed and put into the customer service where we can now just get a customer using the ID we just found right here. ID, and there we go. We'll just return that customer, either getting null or the actual customer back. You see, we're starting to make our UI a lot simpler to read. Removing a customer. Well, we need to find a customer by ID using this method we just created up here, right here, right? So that's the one we'll do. And then if we find the customer, we'll just pass him his ID, actually. So let's do that by saying, um, BLL facade, customer service, uh, remove, or delete, sorry, delete the customer, and there we'll send in the customer found, like this. And then again, this service will take care of actually figuring out if that is okay. Now it seems we actually want the ID in our delete function and uh, that means that we could start changing the UI just to make this video short. I'll just grab the ID from the actual customer found and pass that into the delete function and we should be done. Let's continue. What else do we have? The add customer. Actually here we start out by creating a customer with the first read line and stuff like that and then we end up trying to add this customer. And again, it's pretty much like we started out with BLL facade, customer service, creates, and then the new customer. And again, I'm not allowed to know anything about IDs. That's for the database and the business logic layer to handle. So I'll just back off and say, this is the first name, last name, address, and now you can actually create a customer. So listing all customers, again, we need a for loop, but to do that, we need to grab all customers from somewhere. And yes, B 
PLL facade also has an access point for the customer service that can get all like this. So now we're done with that as well. Remember this was actually a clone, so if I even went, or sorry, a copy, so if I went in here now to the get all and started adding a fake customer, it wouldn't actually be passed to the database.